Hello, it's Joe Lyons. In this video we're going to play a little bit with some columns in Excel. So hopefully you saw my other videos where I, I get a handle to the Excel application. Um, that is in this um, script down here. Here's my function for getting it. And this first one um, is a function I have. Oh, let me actually put some values in here. So I have a hotkey. Control T just sends a letter right for each column. So we can see it's populated them. Um, what we're going to do here is we're going to set the column widths, and here I, I've written a function, which is blah, um, and you can put in a range, and minus one sets it to auto, so it's going to look at the, the width of the column and automatically adjust it. It's, it's basically like doing this, it's double clicking on it, right, and it looks at the column, so it depends on how wide everything is in that column. And um, you can put in, you know, a range, so A to B, um, I set to auto, and then D to F, I s oh, I also set to auto, um, H I set to 15, and K I set to 3. So it'll, um, here in the function, it, what it does is it, it basically dumps it into an object and then splits it um, on the pipe, um, and then that array, it iterates over it, or, um, yeah, it becomes an array, and this string split um, function that's what this dot two is, it says get the second one. That basically, I think it's one where um, if it, um, yeah, if the, if it's set to, to minus one, I have to do a certain command, which is auto fit. And this is a ternary command, or ternary command. I always throw in an extra word there. But um, it basically says, hey, if, if the second item in the array equals minus one, then go ahead and do this, which is going to say set it to auto fit. Um, set the first one, the value, so column, whatever that one is, to auto fit. But if it's not equal to minus one, then go ahead and run this part, which is where we're telling it to set the column, oh, set the column width to the value that was um, passed in on the second array, um, the second value for that combination, right? So here is the 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 columns. Um, and then minus one, this is on its own, um, and I'm parsing, where is that here, oh, on the equal sign. So so I do string split again on this one, and say now split it on the second, uh, on the equal sign, um, and that's how it's parsing that second one. So let's do a demonstration here. So uh, let's see, I have my values, it's set, let me reload it just to make sure. Now when I run it, so it set A and B to the column widths, right, of the auto fit, and then C, um, did I, I don't think I specified, where am I, all right, A, B, and then I did D to F to also auto, so D through F, I should say, right, so A, B, we're in a row, D, E, F, because it's, it's, you know, everything in that range, um, and then H is 15 and K is 3, so H is 15 and K is 3. Three. Oh, that doesn't look like a three. Let me. See. Oh, yeah, it was. So you can see here, this is the the actual decimals or values, and that was fifteen. Um, that's that's a simple one with setting the column width. So this, this function. The next one. So let me comment that out. And uh, and here, I would say, what if I want to insert columns? And so this one, I have it basically. If you want to insert multiple columns, um, you can do them. In, whether consecutive, but I chose not to do like the next one where I can delete multiple deletes at one time because I just get too darn confused. Um, honestly, that's what it boils down to because once you insert something, then everything shifts, and so I just call this multiple times. So here, I'm going to insert, and here, let's make this a little easier. So I am going to insert um, two columns, it looks like, because it's B to C, and I'm going to set the width so I can con I can designate how wide I want the column to be. And so let me save this, reload it, and launch. So notice I put inserted two columns here. They're both eight wide. If I was to come in here, yep, see they're eight. Um, and so that's how I can pass that. Let me see if I can... I'll comment that out. And let's go ahead and get rid of those so we can remember. So we have it the same. B to C. Um, Let's just do A at 18. 
there, and it inserted one there. And so again, if you were going to insert multiple columns, I just like doing them separately so I don't get confused on after I've inserted it, now everything's shift, shifted over. Alright, now the next one, um, this one's pretty handy, it's, it's, it's a little complicated, oh, a little complicated on uh, the actual function. Um, but it's, it's not too bad, but here we can go ahead and delete columns. So I'm going to delete A to B, D through F, and then Z, and then notice I also got order. K, K, H, and A to B. Right? So, so let me go ahead and get rid of this again so we can make sure we have um, A to D all the way through each one, right? And I'm going to save this, reload it, and launch it. And now, let's grab this and put it up here. Oh. So we should have gotten rid of A to B. So notice columns, this is C now, right? Because A and B deleted. And now we start at C. And then I also got rid of D through F, right? So it goes A, C, there's no D, E, F. And then G, I got rid of H, right? And then over here, you'll see there's no Z. So Y, Z is gone. And then, um, um, a, A, and A, B are also gone. So that's it. The, um, this, this function, where do we go? So column insert. Oh, I didn't, I didn't demonstrate that one, did I? Col oh, I did. My bad. Um, it was just so simple. It was quick. This one, it, like I said, it was a little trickier. Um, the thing was, if you only insert one column, it, using it as a range, it needed to have both. So I basically looked to say, hey, if there's if there is no, I'm sorry, if there is um, a colon in there, then go ahead and do it. But if there's not a colon, where is that here? Um, so if answering, ha ha ha. Okay, so here's the question mark. So it's, again, it's a ternary command. So um, then go ahead and just use that list. If it's not, then I put it in twice. So basically, it's it's like doing this. If If it just says... A, um, then it's going to put in this, A, A, A to A, which doesn't make sense, but the command in Excel needed a range, and when I did it that way, it allowed me to not have to worry about the order of things and, and deleting things out of order, because if you delete something from the left, everything would shift in the meantime, but when you do it this way, it, um, it took care of it all at once and made it super easy to pass a bunch of the values there um, all at one time. And that's it. Hope that helps. Thanks.